Hey, if you haven't already got it, get yourself a copy of Answer the Internet, the card game. It's available right now in the link in the bio, or you can get it at Barstool Sports, Walmart, Amazon, or Spencer Gifts. Play along with us. Let's get into it. I'm Jessa Rhodes, and I'm here to answer the internet. If you had to get a lip tattoo, what would it say? Ooh, that's a really hard one. Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I chewed for like seven years of my life. What? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting to have a lip. I was like, I was like, I was like God, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> you know. Wow. It's what, from Oregon, it's what we do. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you've jerked off to? I can't answer that because my lawyer told me not to. I could end up in a psych ward, probably not a good idea. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I don't know that is so much better of an answer than that. <laughs> 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 No, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. Uh, what would you choose if you could only... Guys, I'm also dyslexic, so... What would you choose if you could only have one of... for the rest of your life? Blowjobs, regular sex, or anal? Well, I don't really think I have the required equipment for blowjobs, regular sex. I would have to say anal. Are you gonna anal? Yeah. Yeah? No, nah, well... Regular sex? Regular sex is the easy answer, but we go for the gusto. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Would you rather everyone be naked all the time or clothed all the time? These are silly, you guys. <laughs> I personally, okay, so I but realized. You like, say you were at the club and you're dancing, like yeah. all those gross people. Who yeah, are, they'd be naked too. Ooh, okay, hold on. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you, you see what you see what happens in life? You change the perspective, you change the narrative. <laughs> Clothed completely. <laughs> Burkas all the way. <sighs> then again, people might start going to the gym. They might live healthier lives. In which case, naked. If every time you finished sex, a song played, what would it? What would you want it to be? Oh, this is so so many options here. Oh. You like eighties rap. I don't know. I don't like the, it's <laughs> probably, you know? I'm one of the few girls who actually truly enjoys getting cum on the face. So that would probably be it. Thank you. <laughs> My boyfriend's a lucky man. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Would you date your dream girl if for two days every week your choice she had to dress like a juggalo? <laughs> uh well, but not done that. No. Um <laughs> You take the good with the bad. You know, that's what relationships are. <laughs> In order for you to live, you have to kill a blind. <laughs> you said you'd do it. <laughs> what did I rope myself into here, guys? Okay. In order to live, you have to kill a blind child who has the greatest voice of our generation. Are you killing the kid? <sighs> Will they see it coming? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> Uh, is it weird for a guy to prefer lube hand jobs over blow jobs? Absolutely. You're like personally offended. Yeah. I, I Who think, does that? I think, like, I what are you watching, Jules bed. Jordan? You need baby oil by the bed? Like, come on. Yep, yep, I know. <laughs> I understand the reference. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be any character from a TV show, who would you be? Ooh. The Punisher, only because I think he's so badass, and that's totally what I jerk off to. <laughs> mm, Frank Castle all the way. Just walk into a room and everyone dies. <laughs> like, no music playing, you just... That's <laughs> such a snake girl answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you rather your girlfriend be able to read your thoughts during sex or all the time except during sex? Thoughts? Well, I guess for your boyfriend. Thoughts? No, thoughts during sex, because then she fucking gets something right. <laughs> right? To be like, I don't even have to tell you. You already know. Uh, <laughs> I told uh, my friend something recently. She was asking me about sex advice. And I was like, girl, if you can't talk about sex, you shouldn't be having it. 
My best friend's mom told me that at 13 and that stuck with me my whole life. <laughs> Would you rather be an extremely good looking paralyzed person or a hideous fully functioning person? A hideous fully functioning person because plastic surgery is, it works these days. I, uh, yeah, loopholes. Loopholes. I, I can find a loophole in anything. Actually, at Gossip, the first time I danced there, because it's not a full nude club, right? They were like, oh, keep your panties on. I was like, sweet. I have a pair of crotchless panties right in my bag. <laughs> Would you rather A, get paid one million a year but have to work ridiculous hours, or B, get 100,000 a year for doing nothing? <sighs> I'm a workaholic, so I'd have to say answer A. Are you choosing these yourself? Yes. Damn you. <laughs> Give me a good one, come on. Would you rather see everything that has occurred in the history of the world or everything that is going to happen in the future? Whoa! I feel like there's not enough Xanax in the world for you to show me the future. <laughs> and probably there won't be a future for me if I see that shit. I'll be like Pfft. Yeah, dead on sight. Especially the way, the way we're going right now. Um, plus history just repeats itself. So technically I could save the world if I knew everything that happened in the past, right? Ha oh. ha! Would you rather have a dog die every time you... <laughs> oh, fuck. This might be our worst question. <laughs> this is gonna hit me hard, right in the heart, because I love dogs and I laugh a lot, so this is a problem. Okay, would you rather have a dog die every time you laugh or have there be a genocide every time you fall in love? I would rather the genocide, because I don't... It's hard for you. Yeah, I don't, I don't fall in love. I've been in love once in my life, so... What, what uh, group of people do you want right off the planet? Oh, but I will. Oh, but I will. <laughs> oh, but I will. <laughs> um, group of people? Yeah. Racist. Like, what? Racist. Uh, okay. Loophole. I'm answering. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, would you stop masturbating if every girl you jerked off to knew you were doing it? No. That's just a hot girl answer? Yeah, I would say it's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, well, well you know what, though? I have to say, guys come up to me at events, no shame, and are like, that scene you did where you uh, huh, and you like they give me explicit details and they're practically rubbing their pants and I'm like I was I was there I don't need you to tell me all the yep you're doing it that's fine okay <laughs> that's fine <laughs> if there was stats available for every aspect of your life what one stat would you want to see what does that mean so like uh, let's say you die and you can look at like how many times you how many movies you made how many scenes you shot how many times you ate your favorite meal, how many beers Ooh. you drank, how many drugs you did, how many people you did. <laughs> Let's whatever. not go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like whatever, whatever you can put a number on, how many fucking mics you fed your fucking snake. <laughs> I would like, honestly, I know this is going to be like a sentimental thing, I would like to see how many lives that I truly touched and why. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> All it takes is five seconds to be kind to somebody and you never know it might make their day. <laughs> Would you rather be the best looking girl in the world or be able to read minds? Mm. I'd rather be the best looking girl in the world because honestly, the stupidity level of society right now, it would just be like reading a blank page. There's <laughs> not much to read. Yeah. If you had one free throw, wait, if you had one free throw and if you make it, you get a million dollars, but if you miss, you never get to text again, would you shoot it? I call people anyway, I'm old school, so yeah. <laughs> I'm a caller. <laughs> Would you rather be falsely accused of murder or never be able to stop coming? <sighs> I really don't know. <laughs> like, it doesn't, yeah. Like it never stops. So you're just like walking around coming. You can't like focus. Yeah, but do you realize like how many endorphins would be exploding in your brain? Yeah, but Get used to it? Yeah. No, I don't think so. How about we ask somebody who has that problem? <laughs> Do I get to phone a friend? <laughs> uh, would you rather have an Audi belly button or an uncircumcised dick? I'd rather have an uncircumcised dick because they're great for anal, and as long as you clean it right, it's fine. Why? Is that, is that true? I mean, I guess mm -hmm. you know better than mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like that's something. I feel like that's something no, that one of my so that guys with uncircumcised no, one dicks of don't feel horrible about their ugly dick. No, one of my favorite people to work with is Mick Blue for anals. Because he's uncircumcised. So it doesn't, so basically instead of fucking the inside of my ass, I still get all of the pleasure without the, you're tearing my butthole. Because he's fucking himself. <laughs> okay. So, woo, thank you.